Bonjour, je m'appelle Sandhya, je suis enseignante de français à Bhavans et aujourd'hui je vais expliquer quelque chose à propos des pronoms relatifs. You have learned many types of uh, pronouns in French, pronoms sujet, pronoms complément d'objet direct, pronoms complément d'objet indirect, pronoms tonique. So today we are going to do a different set of pronouns, they are called pronoms relatifs. First of all, the name itself is uh, self-explanatory. Pronoun, they are words which replace nouns. And relative, second role, they connect two sentences. So they are doing a double job of replacing a noun and also linking up two sentences. So what are these four pronouns? He, que, ou, and don. These are the four pronoun relative. Now let us see, let us see some examples and see how they are actually used. For example, j'aime beaucoup ce restaurant, qui se trouve au coin de la rue. Now, when you translate this into English, it doesn't always match. So, it is better you learn it directly in French. I, I quite like this restaurant, which is situated in the corner of the street. Now, here, how do we rem remember this in French? Qui replaces a noun in the sujet's place. That is, its place in the sentence is in the subject's place. Now, let us see how this word has linked two sentences. First of all, the first sentence. J'aime beaucoup ce restaurant. Sentence number one. Sentence number two. Ce restaurant se trouve au coin de la rue. Now here, first sentence, j'aime beaucoup ce restaurant, it is there fully in this, whereas this word, which is repeated again in the second sentence, it is in the subject or the sujet's place. And that is getting replaced with qui. And these two sentences are joined and the repetition is avoided. So we have the pronoun relative for sujet which is que. Now let us move on to the next pronoun relative which is que. J'aime beaucoup ce restaurant. J'ai visité hier. I quite like this restaurant that I visited yesterday. So now you can see Ke has linked up two sentences and let us see what it is replacing. First sentence J'aime beaucoup ce restaurant which we saw in the previous example. Second one. J'ai visité ce restaurant hier. So now you can see that I have replaced ce restaurant here with que. And what is the place of this word in this sentence? Je is subject and ce restaurant is objet direct. Qui replaces sujet and que replaces objet direct. So it has not only replaced the noun but it has also linked up two sentences and we have the new sentence J'aime beaucoup ce restaurant que j'ai visité hier. Okay? Now we'll move on to the next one.
The third one, U. J'aime beaucoup ce restaurant. Où l'on sert beaucoup de plats végétariens. Now once again, here the pronoun relative ou. Now let us see the two sentences. J'aime beaucoup ce restaurant. First sentence. Second sentence. On sert beaucoup de plats végétariens ici or dans ce restaurant. So we all know who is where. So dans ce restaurant, in this restaurant. So who replaces this entire thing dans ce restaurant or EC and links up both the constituent sentences. Fine. Now let's move on to the last one. The last one is don. J'aime beaucoup ce restaurant don la propriétaire Et chouette. Now what is this don? I quite like this restaurant whose proprietor is cute. Okay, so the first sentence, j'aime beaucoup ce restaurant. And the second sentence, la propriétaire de ce Restaurant et chouette. So what is it replacing? Evidently, the ce restaurant. The owner of this restaurant is cute. So of this restaurant indicates possession. The owner of this particular restaurant is cute. So the plus the noun is replaced by don. J'aime beaucoup ce restaurant dont le, la propriétaire est chouette. Okay, now let's see if you have understood what I explained till now. I have given four sentences. C'est ce garçon blanc a gagné la médaille d'or. C'est cette actrice blanc j'ai rencontré. C'est ce village blanc je suis né. C'est cette étudiante blanc, la mère est, est une chanteuse célèbre. Now apply the rule that you just learned and then fill up these blanks with qui, que, ou, dont. Qui for sujet, que for direct object, ou for place, in some place, at some place. And then finally dont is for possession. And another purpose of this pronoun relative is it's not only to link up two sentences, also it highlights the word that is preceding it. It also has the job of accentuating, emphasizing, giving more importance to the uh, whichever noun it is replacing. So I hope you have understood all of you. Merci.